Hello and welcome. I'm Nafi for 2 and this time I'm just going to be talking about some 3D printer experiences that I've had. Okay, so my experience with this 3D printer so far has been just completely crazy. So it's, it's been so different to how I expected it and how I've dealt with many other companies before. Um, Basically, it started off really well. I, I wanted the magazine, so I started getting the parts through, started building it, we started doing a video series on that, and you can check that out. There's a playlist for it on my channel, actually. Uh, if you go onto the actual channel itself, you can see every video, every magazine that I did um, in its own little video, I was doing it month by month, um, and then like I was posting it out with, with them in the app, on Twitter and they were like great they were retweeting my stuff you know I was getting a lot of uh, publicity and stuff like that which is really good and even now like randomly like from time to time or whatever I'll, I'll post my stuff to them and usually they'll retweet it it's probably my fault I missed a payment once because I forgot it was coming out on that day so I transferred the money in and said okay can you take the payment now the way they work for my money is I usually I, I take the money that I don't spend or that I can't spend from my budget uh, and I stick that into savings so that I can't physically touch it therefore separating the money that I have available to use and the money that I don't have available to use so that I don't waste it all so I said okay I transfer that in I transferred it in told them and they said okay the payment will be taken out in our next batch which then goes over to the warehouse to get sent out like a, a week or so later so I was like okay fair enough yeah and then literally like a month or two months later I received the parts through but I didn't receive the next batch through from there it started kind of messing up we're going backwards and forwards i was speaking to their support quite a bit and saying like you know it's uh like parts haven't came through and stuff like that and they were just like okay yep yeah, it's in the pipeline we we've got it on its way now i think because i got behind in schedule maybe they sent all their parts out to everyone and then their spares and stuff i suppose they just sent out to random suppliers who they who they could because it, maybe it's in high demand, I'm not really sure how, how high of demand it had for the 3D printer, but you know, I mean, it's, it is a half decent 3D printer, I've got one here. It's, it's lasted so far, it's, I mean, it's had its hiccups and stuff like that, but I mean, it's, it's, it is a good beginner 3D printer, and actually they're selling it now for like 400 or so on their website, which is, and, and that's fully built as well, so you, you shouldn't have an issue with it out of the box. To me, that is quite a good deal, I think, because I paid probably around about six, seven hundred pounds for it. But uh, I'd still, I'd probably still save my money up and just get a Prusa Mark II uh, original, because they do look pretty good. But they don't have the enclosure, which is interesting because the enclosure does help you keep the heat in. I'm not sure what it's like with the Mark, uh, with the with the Prusa, because the, the 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 normal issue when it comes to that is it peeling up off of the board. Um, so I don't know how that worked, but I want to test it out. <laughs> I, I want to get one because they're really cool. Um, maybe I can just build a, 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 an enclosure for it or something out of some plexi and, and some corners that I print myself, probably. Uh, and also the the print qualities that I've seen for it so far do look a lot better than what I can get through this, uh, which probably isn't that hard, but you know, I mean, this is still a good printer. See, so yeah, I've worked with different friends. We've been doing different projects, like the 3D printed um, Mandalorian helmet that I'm doing. It's still in the works. I've got about six pieces left for that now. So it's, it's, it is getting there. Quite excited to see what it's gonna be like in the full thing. Uh, and we're still not sure how we're gonna stick it all together. We'll work it out when we get there. But yeah, it does look really cool so far. The parts that I printed in the red XL van have actually come out a lot better than the ones in the pink. I'm, I'm not sure if that's because of how I've changed my usage of it now or because I put a new print head on it. So I've tested a load of different filaments. There was one that I did a while back. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a nice dry to the touch filament. Just the same as the rigid ink filament that I tried the other day um, or the other week or wherever it was. Um, that was really good, really good quality. And that's how I know the quality is good. When you feel them ones, they feel, it's a strange texture that they have to them. And it just kind of feels a bit like if you used to have maybe like a milk carton and there was no milk in it and it was like a big ball of it. That is how I can imagine it would feel. If you know what I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure if that's a good explanation for it, but 
there we go. The XL van is what I use most of the time. It's what I'm using at the moment. It's just, it's just cheap. It's just really cheap. 10 pounds for a wheel. I got one on there now. I've printed off nearly half a Mandalorian helmet. I've gone through probably about a third of this wheel on that. And it's, it's, it's you could print so much on a kilo of plastic. Like you can print a lot on a kilo of plastic. And it's just great to see that the um, the XL van is actually printing quite nicely now. Uh, like recently we've been getting a lot better prints. I'm not sure if that's because they're bigger pieces or <laughs> or if it's just because uh, maybe I fine-tuned it a lot, which would be good. Uh, I think that I have fine-tuned it, but I think because they are bigger pieces, it has actually contributed to that. The filaments that came with the printer itself, I don't know what ones they are or what ones they were. But they worked quite well as well. They they were, they did work pretty well. What I do want to try at some point is if I have any filament that goes off, I want to try and stick it in the oven and see if you can actually fix the moisture issues with it. Because apparently if you bake it at 100 degrees, maybe 120, you can actually remove the water from the filament <laughs> and then or then, then reuse the filament. As I said, I've not tried it before, but apparently that does work and that is something that I'd like to give a go. And most of all, I have enjoyed every little bit of what I've done so far on this channel. Like a lot of learning has been done with um, the editing software on my PC. Uh, I'm using Premiere Pro or Premiere, whatever it is now, CC, the CC version of it anyway. So I'm paying monthly for it. I'm using, well, I was using Photoshop to make the thumbnails, but I'm not anymore, actually. I'm using, there's actually a web, it's actually a web-based one. <laughs> Strangely enough, um, if you use TubeBuddy on YouTube, which can help you out with uh, information, tags, all this kind of stuff, it's really good, actually. If you're a YouTuber, you should definitely get it or definitely use it. You can also create thumbnails through that and upload it straight from the page that you're doing the video with. So you can actually use a frame from your video as the background, add some titles and text to it, and then beam it off into YouTube land. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing recently. Um, I think it looks better. Um, I don't know if that's the, that is the case, but I, I think it does look better because you actually do have a bit more of a feel for it. I've also been trying to incorporate more uh, B-roll into my footage, um, something I didn't really do previously. Um, so instead of just being me face on the camera, like this video most likely will be because, uh, because I don't really know what to put over the top of this video right now. So I can't really shoot B-roll footage for it. it I'd, I'd usually have like cutoffs and you go have a look at the printer or have a look at the filament and have a look at the models and stuff. When I was getting near the end of the 3D printer creating series I, I had this idea of like okay when I search hashtag 3d printed there's not really much that comes up so I was like okay I'll take that I'll take that on myself and that is what I'm doing with the 3d printed show hashtag 3d printed that is for things that I make myself it will be that from now from from now going on forwards so my board game uh, tabletop game sorry my tabletop game the I, I did like a magnetic bowl or something like a while back uh, that was hashtag 3D printed. I did the, the Vive hanger arms there, hashtag 3D printed. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. It's, it's just going to be stuff that I have made myself, as well as the things that I've modified on the printer, which would be um, the, the, the camera, the light, the, the blower fan duct um, under there, which I 3D printed as well. Luckily, in the last little bit of black, that I had. I'd like to get a little shelf set up underneath this shelf maybe which just has a lot of wheels on it and it'll look really cool so I can have all the different colours and stuff and then it'll just look it'll look cool. I probably won't use it very much because I like sticking to one filament and not switching over filaments but if I had that choice maybe I would. Maybe I would maybe I would switch filaments or whatever. Um, I'd like to get a Q&A together so if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like to know, anything you'd like me to research or, or find out or do, let me know in the comments section below and I would put that in another video which I'll call Q&A. And the other tag that I started doing which was hashtag, hashtag 3D showcase is the new series that I'm trying to do. 
So it'll be 3D printed on like maybe Tuesdays or whatever it is at the moment, and then 3D showcase on the Saturdays. So we'll have maybe two episodes a week I'll try and keep. And then in between that will be either an update videos or vlogs. Vlogs, I don't, know, I don't really do vlogs, but you know what I mean? Like talking head videos or anything else that I want to do. <laughs> Uh, like I do want to play Firewatch soon. I've got Firewatch. I'll probably do a stream of it and then upload that to YouTube in one video, not as sectioned videos because I like I like this free videos a week thing that I'm doing at the moment. It's a lot easier for me. The gaming video is, is surprising actually. The gaming video doesn't take up that much time editing because I just slice it up, dish it out into separate bits, uh, slap on an end and then render, upload, tag, done. <laughs> These videos, I have to put, I, I literally scour through every second of the videos that I'm doing at the moment. And this is a very long video, nearly 20 minutes. So it's gonna take ages for me to actually do. So um, yeah, I'm trying to put more effort in. I hope you guys can notice that. Please let me know in the comment section below if you do. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think from, follow me on Twitter, that's at Nathan2 and thanks for watching.